folks, this is Kate from the Malden Public Library. I'm doing this week's five and five. Five recommendations of what to read, watch, or listen to in five minutes. This week's list is inspired by the worst month of the year, February. February is 28 of the longest seeming days of winter. It drags on and on and on without end, and you never seem to have any free time to do the things that bring you joy. How does that happen? It's a paradox. Not a friendly month for activities that require energy or an attention span, like reading. So I'm here to recommend an option that will make you feel fulfilled without requiring all that free time you don't have. Short stories. They're great because they have all the impact and drama of longer books, but in a more manageable size. And any story you don't vibe with in a collection, you can just skip on to the next one. No guilt, no stress, and perfect for a month of Mondays. So on to my first recommendation, Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Marie Machado. I don't have the time or the space to explain why I think this is the best book of short stories around. The whole book is amazing. I borrowed it twice and then bought it. It's that good. Suffice to say, if you've ever talked to me for more than 10 minutes, I probably recommended this book to you. Carmen Maria Machado has clearly earned every accolade she's getting for her work right now. You should see why. Next book is Glitter and Ashes, Queer Tales of a World That Wouldn't Die. Full disclosure, it is edited and published by a friend from high school, so it's local. I'm not recommending it because I know Dave Ring personally but because it's a brilliant collection that highlights new and talented writers in speculative fiction. If you like dystopian fiction, or you feel the need to read some right now to get you through winter 2021, this collection will certainly be a good place to start. It even got a shout out from Publishers Weekly, which described it as a hopeful and vibrant anthology of queer speculative writing. Edited by 2013 Lambda Literary Fellow Ring, it spans genres from revolutionary diesel punk reminiscent of Mad Max Fury Road to high fantasy in the vein of N.K. Jemison's Broken Earth series. These 26 pieces, which encompass short stories and flash fiction, as well as Apocalypse, a gorgeous poem by Saida Agostini, and Dream Askew, instructions for a collaborative storytelling game by Avery Alder, posit that those already at the margins of society will be best equipped to thrive after its collapse. Okay, so next book is by an author you've probably seen more of recently. It's Ken Liu's The Hidden Girl and Other Stories. This is a science fiction collection for those whose tastes run more in that direction. And if you're into science fiction, you cannot do much better than Liu and his, and this book serves as a good introduction to his work, as it, according to the publisher, includes a selection of Liu's speculative fiction stories over the past five years, 17 of his best, plus a new novelette. In addition, it also features an excerpt from The Veiled Throne, the third book in Liu's epic fantasy series, The Dandelion Dynasty. Also, this is a great recommendation for folks who liked Black Mirror, as one of the stories could definitely be an episode. My next recommendation is for mystery lovers, especially those who love the major characters of the genre. This collection is edited by David Baldacci and it pits major characters and villains from popular mystery series against each other. The book is called Face Off. And if you read series by Michael Connelly, Lee Child, Dennis Lehane, Heather Graham, Lee Preston, and Ian Rankin, and many other great series writers, then this collection is something special. Check out the Biblio Commons link in the comments to get more info on the book and see the complete list of authors. It's fantastic. Final book is Falling in Love with Hominids by Nalo Hopkinson. And if you have already read everything by Carmen Marie Machado or are looking for something similar, then this is your next author. 
This book defies a single genre label, but fits snugly together with a unique and talented voice. The publisher's description doesn't quite do it justice, but here it is. In this long awaited collection, Hopkinson continues to expand the boundaries of culture and imagination. Whether she is retelling the Tempest as a new Caribbean myth, filling a shopping mall with unfulfilled ghosts or herding chickens that occasionally breathe fire, Hopkinson continues to create bold fiction that transcends boundaries and borders. Okay, that's my five and five. Good luck this February. Stay warm, hydrated, and well-read.